Well, we do have a few guys in the team that play rugby league, so yeah. it's well represented. That's right. Welcome to Battle Business. I'm Jamie Dixon, and joined in the studio, I have Willie McWilliams. Another good victory for the Dung Beetles, Willie. Yes, it certainly was. They got up to beat the uh, Bunbury Bulls 13 7 on the weekend. 6 uh, 0 up at half time, uh, two penalties. But we did go down there and uh, let's have a look, Jamie. Okay, Willie, let's have a look. Put your hand out, let the guy take it off. Yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. 20 seconds, then we're going quick to the pace. Yes, Dr. Jones. Ooh, ooh, beauty. Welcome to game day down here in Dunsborough with me. I have Barnaby. Barnaby, how long have you been involved with the Dung Beetles? Oh, 15 years or so. 15 years. How long were you going? 14? Uh, 14 years, so you're a year ahead of yourself. Nice. What do you expect from the team today? Hard for battle today. Winds south southwest should be punted down into this corner. Uh, team looks good. The Pumbri have full squad, and we've never had so many beautiful people down here. Just from five or six points in it, I reckon, boys. Put your money on the Beatles. On the Beatles. Thanks very much for your time, Barnes. We'll catch up with you later. Thanks, Welcome, mate. Renee. Uh, how long you been involved with the club, Renee, and, and what's your role? I think Pete started playing last year. Um, during the last bit, um, Ted needs team here, so I've been actively involved this whole year with every game. So, have, have we had many injuries, Renee? Uh, I'd say the carnival was sort of the most intense, but we've had a few blood bars over the few games we've played, but nothing too serious yet. Just the carnival once again, but all good. Lovely. Thanks for your time, Renee. No Thank you. Thanks. See you. Don't let the next players kick it over when they're coming over. Just secure it. Just next. Three, two, one. 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 two or three real good line breaks and then they've kicked the ball away and it's not about that, it's about holding on to possession. I think they're good enough to be to be attacking from a lot further out and at the moment there's, there's too many individual efforts, there's not enough team out there for mine at the moment. Right, so you think that they should be up more than 60 points at this stage, Gary? Oh, with the amount of turnover the ball I've had, particularly from line out, they, they should have scored some tries, there's no doubt about that here. It's, it's, um, to my way of thinking, they should have lost it through a four and Okay, okay, Gary, thanks for the time. Uh, enjoy the second half. Thank you. Uh, come off at half time. Body's all right? Yeah, no, I'm feeling fine. Just got a bit of a crook guts for some reason. Not too much alcohol last night? No, didn't touch a crook. 
So the hard offer, opposition Bunbury? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're um, hitting it up pretty hard around the fringes in there. Riley! Oh, they get knocked down too bad. Okay. Riley! Well, Dave, enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks. So mate. thanks to our guest commentator, Gary Stingers. He gave us the half-time report. Let's have a look at the footage in the second half, will he? Okay. Come on, you mate, we'll come and enjoy your beer. Catch you afterwards. Thank you. No, good win, boys. Good win.